In today's world, fiber networks represent the key factor in developing a digital society. By providing high-speed access to the digital universe, they significantly increase consumers' quality of life and access to information while also creating opportunities for businesses in both urban and rural environments. Over the coming years, a growing number of technologies such as high-resolution consumer devices, VR-AR applications, Industry 4.0, the Industrial Internet of Things and autonomous mobility will significantly boost demand for high-speed internet access. This point seems obvious, yet there is little clarity on how such demand will be met. Are fiber networks really the end game for next-gen connectivity? Are they the most economically viable solution? What does the future of the fiber network ecosystem really look like? To answer these questions, we need to consider a large number of diverse trends and drivers. Clustering these allows two critical impact dimensions with high uncertainty to emerge. The first one is about the separation between physical network ownership and the provision of digital services. Will traditional telco providers continue to do both by keeping their communication networks and serving end customers? Or will third-party investors fuel the rise of pure infrastructure firms that sell open access to their networks to a multitude of existing and emerging service providers. The other critical uncertainty describes the evolution of last-mile connectivity technology. Will fibre be the dominant solution and fibre to the home connections the new industry standard? Or will technologies such as 5G and existing successively upgraded infrastructures suffice to cover the future demand for high-speed internet connectivity? Based on our scenario methodology, we have developed four extreme yet plausible scenarios for how the future of the fiber network ecosystem may develop in the coming years. Let's take a glimpse into these possible futures. In our first scenario, fiber to the home connections are the only acceptable answers to the ever-increasing demand for high-speed internet access widespread implementation of remote working schemes and the rapid adoption of virtual and augmented reality and 8K TV. Furthermore, emergent services that require deep infrastructure integration, such as edge cloud capabilities, enjoy acceptance and enable telecommunication firms to maintain sustainable differentiation by combining network ownership and service provision. Having sensed these developments early, some traditional telcos have swiftly accelerated their own fibre investments and actively consolidated independent fibre deployments, which have mushroomed predominantly across rural areas. In this world, existing telcos realise that rewiring end customers' homes is not necessary since the cable infrastructures in place have enjoyed substantial fibre upgrades on their way to customer facilities and are now more than enough to deliver super-fast internet services. Connectivity issues are a thing of the past, with 5G as a suitable complement to fill in the gaps and strengthen existing connections. Telcos who have invested boldly into this dual, fixed mobile network strategy enjoy the benefits of a countrywide, homogenous network. Combined with integrated services and a strong brand, this development leads to strong competitive positioning over pure infrastructure-centric fibre-to-the-home offerings, which are typically focused on formerly underserved areas and therefore lack cross-regional scale. In this world, the market does not reward tighter integration of network infrastructure with services. Instead, service providers have access to heterogeneous network infrastructures thanks to open standards and regulatory pressure. As a result, the players are traditional telcos as well as a variety of new players such as virtual network operators, hardware manufacturers and digital platform companies. Combined with relatively high and stable returns from telco infrastructures, investors are therefore pushing to break up traditional telcos into infrastructure and service companies. 
Consequently, fibre to the home is on par with competing infrastructures such as 5G or cable. This development leads to highly fragmented markets on both the infrastructure and service provisioning sides, which makes navigating the field increasingly difficult for consumers. However, it also promotes the emergence of wholesale infrastructure aggregators that bring scale and structure back into this highly competitive market with respect to coverage, quality and price. Similar to the super-fragmentation scenario, customers do not honour the benefits of tight network infrastructure and service integration, leading to an accelerated separation into net costs and serve costs. However, in this world, fibre to the home is clearly perceived as the best technology. Those operators who have not invested heavily into fibre are eventually pushed out of the infrastructure business, leading to a complete reshuffle of the sector. In the end, wholesale aggregators and service providers offer cutting-edge products to consumers and businesses using a virtualized crowd of fragmented high-speed fiber networks. Each of these scenarios is possible but requires a certain set of assumptions to become true. To actively shape the infrastructure landscape of tomorrow, understanding the key trigger points of each scenario will be essential to be able to react as early as possible, if not drive the change and shape the market proactively.